So hey y'all, I'm going to go ahead and give, give you guys a quick tutorial on how to make pressing pillows. Um, it's really simple to make. You only need a few items. You're going to need a pair of scissors. Uh, you may or may not need um, a box cutter depending on how thick your cushion is. You'll need a marker permanent marker and then you'll need uh, your bonnet so that you can trace the shape of your circle and then lastly the most important part you'll need upholstery cushion which is also known as foam cushion or project foam or cushion foam you can find those things at walmart.com and I'm gonna post a picture here so I get the upholstery foam from Walmart. Now they do have different types of upholstery foam. The very first time I made pressing pillows, I had a thicker foam. And then the second time I went back to see if they had um, more so I could make more pillows so I could press more bonnets at a time. Um, they didn't have that thicker foam, but they had this thinner foam. And the thinner foam works just as just as good. Um, all you have to do is adjust your pressure on your press machine to gauge how thick your cushion is. So the thickness of the cushion um, really does not matter. It's also a preference. I will say the upholstery cushion that's thinner, um, you're able to get way more of these than with the thicker foam because it's more, I, I guess I wanna say like yardage. So if you wanna get your bang for your buck, I recommend you getting this one. Then it was the thinner foam. I wish I still had my packaging so that y'all can see it exactly, um, but I don't because I did this a while ago. But let me go ahead and get into the actual tutorial. So first you lay your upholstery foam out on a flat surface and then you take your bonnet and you lay it on top of the foam so that you can gauge um, how you want to trace around the bonnet. Um, I recommend you tracing a little bit more in so that your circle can fit into the bonnet uh, pretty good. You turn it inside out and um, like I mentioned before, I want you to try to pull it in a little bit so that it can, you know, you're tracing a smaller circle, not that's as big as the entire bonnet. I did that before and I had to trim my circles because they were too big. So you have to make sure you pull your bonnet in and then once you have your circle you take your box cutter and you just literally cut around it cut the circle out I use a box cutter first then use scissors because the foam is typically thick and it's hard to cut thick things with scissors and this helps it makes it a breeze as you can see how easy it is for me to just cut this now that I used the box cutter first and the scissors second. And that's simply it. That is how you make a pressing pillow. So now I'm just gonna show you how I put the pillows into the bonnet. And it's pretty much self-explanatory. You fold it in half like hot dog style or hamburger style. And you shove that John in there and boom, there you go. And just like that, you have your pressing pillow. Now, this method can be applied um, not only for pressing bonnets. Like if you are pressing, let's say, I don't know. What are some things that y'all press that y'all need a cushion to be inside of? I don't know. But you can apply the same method. Get you some... Um, Upholstery cushion, foam cushion, memory foam. Get you some of this and bam, we got you a pressing pillow. Because I know the ones that they sell on Amazon are really thin and the more you press them, they get thinner and thinner and thinner. So why not start out with a thicker one and then it presses down. So let me show y'all. Uh, this is So this is a brand new cushion. <laughs> and then let me show y'all. Now, this is one that I've been using for a while, and you can see how it has pressed. 
down. So it's good to, that I have this big roll because I I made like six of them at a time. I can actually show y'all. Made like six of them. So I'll be pressing all of these bonnets in a row. So buying the big roll is convenient so that in the event that you do want to press most foil at a time, you can. Or in the event that this one just get old, rattled, and tattered, you can just toss it out and you'll have fresh ones. So, comment down below if you have any questions, if I left anything out. Um, comment below if this was helpful. Comment below if you want to see other tips or you have any questions, anything at all. Just comment, like, and subscribe. And thank y'all for watching this video.